So today we're going to escape the hustle of Marrakesh. We're going up to Orica Valley, which is uh, about an hour and a half away. Tell us where we're going. Uh, we're going to some mountain with waterfalls, and we're going to do a hike. First stop is a traditional Berber house visit. The Berbers like the indigenous people of North Africa. Back at it again with the selfies, but pretty nice view from the rooftop of this house. For this, we had a traditional Berber tea ceremony. Ah, oh, look at these goods. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what it is, Victor. It's like good cornbread, freshly milled corn, you know, toasted over a traditional burger oven. <laughs> Here we've got that good olive oil, the famous olive oil. Mm -hmm. Fresh from the cow. This is house honey. You know, they, these bees have been working with them for a long time. Next stop is a Argan Oil Cooperative. I saw a lot of these co-ops in Morocco, but this one's for divorced and widowed women. The fruit, you get the nut inside, like the and that one, the nut. We have two types of Argan oil. We have Argan oil for eating and Argan oil for cosmetics. So Argan is a type of nut that's native to Morocco. See it everywhere in Morocco, but uh, we thought this would be a good place to support the women, so we bought a lot of souvenirs at this shop. This is our lunch stop. It's at Sedi Fatma. It's a town at the base of the Atlas Mountains. Probably very different to the desert uh, of Morocco that you're expecting. After lunch, we started our hike up to the waterfalls. Uh, that's what this place is known for. Tell them where we are, Tim. Oh, we're at the waterfall. great day trip out of Marrakesh. It's uh, much more relaxed, you see a bit of nature and uh, just really highly recommended if you're visiting Morocco. 